Hey what's up guys welcome to Settech and you're watching my review of the Google Home Mini. I purchased it when it was launched in India at a price of 4499 and I've used it for almost 6 months. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Let's start with the design first. Yes, it looks like a donut. I have the charcoal black variant and you can put it anywhere in your living room, your office, your bedroom or anywhere else. It would look good everywhere. It is powered by a micro USB port and comes with this switch to mute or unmute the microphone. There is only one far field microphone which does a decent job of waking up the device. There is only one 40 mm upward firing speaker which is good for your day to day usage and music listening. I wish it had a 3.5 mm headphone jack to connect it to other speakers. Though you can connect it to other bluetooth speakers wirelessly, but the audio will come out only via the bluetooth speaker. So you will not have a multi speaker setup. If you want a multi speaker setup, you will have to buy the Chromecast audio which costs around 2000 3000 rupees in India which I don't think is useful. You can tap on either side to increase or decrease the volume and long press to activate the assistant physically. So on the hardware side you are getting a good overall package. But it is the software that makes a difference. The speaker comes with Google Assistant built in. and it can do everything you can do via the google assistant on your smartphone like getting information via the web checking weather setting alarms and all the usual stuff you can connect up to 6 different users to the google home mini and google voice recognition does a great job of recognizing each and every person individually it also does a great job in providing sensitive information so suppose i and my brother are two users connected to the google home mini and i have a reminder or an appointment so the google home mini will say i have a reminder for siddhant and a pop up will come on my smartphone which i can check to see what is the reminder or what is the appointment so it will not tell your sensitive information aloud i have connected three music services that is google play music gana and savan by default it only plays music from the google play music and if you want to use the other service you have to specify that You can also connect Google Home Mini to your television via the Google Chromecast. But if you are someone like me who uses an Amazon Fire TV stick, it cannot be connected. It also comes with a couple of games out of which I really like the Lucky Trivia one. But as I said, only a couple of games. I played the Lucky Trivia game with my friends and everyone seemed to enjoy it. I really wish Google had added more games. If Google can add more games, it would be great. It is a great device to have fun with your family and your friends. So overall, it is a really good device for the price and I can recommend it to everyone. Especially when it is priced at 3499, which usually happens in the Flipkart sales. At first, you might think it is of no use, but once you start to use it daily, you would love it. So, this is it guys from this video. I know I have uploaded after 6 months. So, a big shout out to everyone who is still around and uh, watching this video. or have not unsubscribe or watching my previous videos but now i promise regular uploads will come you can also check out my website sittechworld.com where i daily post around 4 to 5 articles like and share if you found this video useful and if you want a google home mini let me know your experience in the comments below subscribe to my channel for more content like this and i will see you in my next video this is sidhant signing off keep smiling